In this video, we're going to discuss basis and dimension. A basis for a subspace V is a linearly independent set of vectors that spans V. The dimension of a subspace V is the number of vectors in a basis for V. Let's look at an example. A basis for R2 consists of the vectors 1, 0, and 0, 1. Another basis is the vectors 1, 1 and 1, minus 1, and there are many others. But, even though there are many different bases for R2, every basis for R2 has two vectors, so the dimension of R2 is 2. Let's look at another example. What is the basis and dimension of the given span? To answer this question, we need to find a linearly independent set of vectors that spans W. Since the given vectors already span W, it's sufficient to find a linearly independent subset of the given vectors that still spans W. This is a maximal linearly independent subset. The procedure is familiar. Put the vectors as columns in an augmented matrix, row reduce, and pick vectors corresponding to the pivot columns. Thus, we see the span of B is W, and the vectors in B are linearly independent, and so B is a basis. Since there are three vectors in B, the dimension of W equals 3. This process always works to find a basis for the span of particular vectors. However, it's worth noting that in this case, there was a shortcut. As soon as we noticed that there were three pivot columns in the row-reduced matrix, we knew the dimension of W would be 3. Since W is a subspace of R3, and R3 is three-dimensional, we know that W must actually equal R3. And so we could pick any basis for R3, and it would also be a basis for W.